habit stacking. It's basically where when you're trying to develop a new habit, you just pair it with something you're already doing. So in the mornings, I love getting my cup of coffee or my cup of tea, and then I try and pair it up with journaling, which is a habit that I'm trying to build up. Hi, I'm Simara. I'm on the Microsoft team, and this is my day working from home. Out of journaling, I tend to wake up with a busy brain. So it's a way to just kind of calm me down and ground me for the day. When I train my brain to focus on the good, it really just sets the tone for the day. When I first log in, I typically go straight to email. I don't reply to anyone right away. I just do a high level sift through my emails and see what's high priority. And then I prioritize as I go along. Getting started in the pandemic was an interesting time, but it turned out for the best because I got to curate my space to the way that I work best. Fresh out of college, this is where I started. <laughs> my home situation is a little bit different. I live with my parents, my grandma, and my partner. So it's a full house and often there's people running around. It's loud, it's chaotic, but I love it. A team's feature that I really like is the background blur, and that's because I live in a full house. So whenever somebody comes in, I love to just minimize those distractions in the background and keep the focus on the meeting. Good morning, CMI. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How are y'all? Yeah, that's, that's a good mood for a Friday. <laughs> A Teams feature that I really, that I don't think a lot of people know about, and it's something that's already built in, is the noise suppression. So when my house gets loud, or, you know, it's just really loud, um, I can hear what's going on, but nobody else in my Teams call can. So I really like that. when it's time for like lunchtime or little breaks, it's very accessible for me to just go downstairs and eat my grandma and my mom's really delicious cooking. I don't have to like settle for some weird lunches or something. Sometimes I go to the coffee shop in the afternoons, typically after lunch because that's when I'm hitting like the midday slump. So having a change in environment um, keeps me a little bit more fresh and awake. I enjoy my time at the coffee shop mainly because I get really delicious coffee and also it's a change in my environment. So it kind of helps me focus a little bit more or just do things a little bit differently than I would at home. What I love about being at home is that I can multitask. It's really nice to just be able to quickly go get some personal things done while I also get to fit in work throughout the day. Typically when I have a big project that's come up, I like to break it up into sections so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming. So I typically grab my timer, I set it for 25 minutes, and then I just focus on what I can do in those 25 minutes. I take a five minute break and then just restart that process over. And it really helps to just keep my mind on focus and keep myself on track without feeling so crazy about this work life. After work, some hobbies that I like to do honestly depend on the day. I like gaming with Edgar because it's just our little bonding time. We get to work together on some games and kind of team up on that. And just the fact that I get to be in my space and really just wind down and also be productive in the way that works for me and the way that I set it up. That was my day working from home. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.